Let's take a look at Math, Grade 4, Module 3, Lesson 20, Multi-Digit Multiplication and Division, Topic E, Division of Tens and Ones with Successive Remainders. Problem 1. Decompose 48 divided by 4 from whole to part. So we're going to divide 48 into four groups, but we're going to do that with some different models. I'm going to start by using a rectangle. Now with this rectangle, if you remember we used rectangles when we were finding the area of something. We would say that, okay, I know that this side is 4, and if I knew this, what the length of this side was, I could multiply those and find the square units. Well, in this case, we know the square units. We know that the square units of this rectangle is going to be 48. If I know the length of this side, then I know that something times 4, 4 times something, is going to give me 48. Well, let's think of how we can solve this. Most, some of you out there might know that 4 times 12 is 48. So that means that the length of this side is 12 units. But if you didn't know that, we're going to take a look at how we could, we could have solved it. I'm going to think about breaking up 48 using a number bond. So here's my number bond. My whole is going to be 48. But I can break 48 up to make this multiplication I need to do easier. And in this case, I'm going to break it up into tens and ones. I don't have to break it up into tens and ones, but I think it's going to make it easier. And I reason that because of this 4. And I see 40, and I see 8. And I know that both of these are going to be easy to divide by 4. So, let's think about what we're doing with this rectangle when I do this kind of number bond thinking. So essentially what I've done is I've taken a rectangle that's the same size and I'm going to use it like this, but I'm going to break it up into these parts. So I know that this side is 4. That's going to stay the same. And I know that the units on the inside, the square units, I know that there's 48. So I'm saying that I have 40 of them in this rectangle and I have 8 of them in this rectangle. 40 plus 8 is 48. So now I can clearly see that 4 times 10 would give me 40 and 4 times 2 would give me 8. That the length of this rectangle, this section is 10 and this section is 2. So let's look at what we were, what we've done here. You know how we said 4 times something equals 48? Well in this case, 4 times something equaled 40. Or we could say 40 divided by 4 equaled 10. So what I did was I took this 40 and I divided it by 4 and I got 10. And I took this 8 and I divided it by 4, and I got 2. So my quotient for 48 divided by 4 was 1 10 and 2 ones, or we could say 12, that our quotient was 12. Let's try another one. This time we're going to decompose 96 divided by 4 from whole to part. So we're going to use that rectangle idea that we were talking about earlier. We're going to use this rectangle. We're going to say, okay, I have this side and I know it's four units. I also know I have 96 square units in here. So it's like I have four rows and each row has an amount that I don't know. But I know that I have 96 in here. So I'm going to think about 96 as a whole. 
So I'm, this is the beginning of my number bond. I think about 96 being my whole. Then I think about breaking up 96 to make my multiplication easier. What I see when I look at 96 is I know that there's 40 in there. And I know that if I had two 40s, I would have 80. So that means there's two 40s in 96. So if I take away those two 40s, that 80, it would leave me with 16. So when I think about 96, I think about breaking it up into three parts. I think about one of the parts being 40, another part being 40, and then the last part being 16. So this is the idea that I'm going to use to break apart 96. But I'm going to show it using a rectangle. So let's think about what that rectangle would look like. It's going to be the same size as the other rectangle I have but I'm going to have two parts that are going to equal 40 and one that's going to equal 16. So I know that the this side is still 4, this part is 40, this part is 40, and this one is 16. So this has 16 units, this one has 40 units, square units, and this one has 40 square units. So now I just need to find the top. Well, if I think about what this length would have to be, then I can see that 4 times something gives me 40. Or I could say 40 divided by 4. Well, I know that that is going to be 10. And if this one is 10, then this 40 divided by 4 has got to be 10 as well. And 16 divided by 4, well, I know that 4 times 4 is 16, so 16 divided by 4 is 4. So the length of this top portion is 10 plus 10 plus 4. 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 4 ones is 24. Now, I want to come back to this number bond because I want to show what we did to find this. 40 divided by 4. I took this portion of 96 and I divided it by 4. And I got 10. Then I took this portion of 96. My whole was 96. I took this part and I divided it by 4 and I got 10 on that one as well. And then this one was 16. So I took this 16 and I divided it by 4. And I got 4. 10 plus 10 plus 4 gives me a quotient of 24.